Hi and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Dana and today we're going to be doing a sticker Saturday. So this is hosted by Crafting Rose and if you want to see all the sticker challenges for sticker Saturday just put in hashtag sticker Saturday on the search and everybody who's participating will show up. Now I was watching Creative Chica Halls today and I saw her do the challenge and I was like, girl, I got so many stickers. I got to do this too. So that's why I'm trying to do it with you. So today I'm going to be trying to, to do like a man's card. Um, this is the kit that I'm going to be using. This is Mr. Smith's workshop. This is something I've had forever and it's by you know, do crafts paper mania six by six cards and envelopes. And it's a really cool base to create cards for men. As you can tell, these are the cards. Okay, this is the one I'm going to be working with today because it's very odd and different. And I wanted to do something odd and different. And then these are the envelopes. So the envelopes all look like that. Okay, I'm not going to be working with the envelope per se, but just the card. So let me put this over here. Here's the card I'm going to be working with. And as far as stickers are concerned, I have some options. Oh my God, do I have options? Okay, so I might play around with this. Um, the stickers from Crafter Square. I may do that because of the metallic. I'm not too sure. I might play around with the laser cut craft icons that look like clocks. These are the ones that I also use for my dollhouse miniatures. This is from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I figured I might be able to use this one, this little square right here that has the feather, which is very interesting. Possibly use one of them from over here because it's kind of abstract and this is lending itself to that, but I don't know because this might be too much and too bright. I was going to use this for dollhouse miniatures as a, um, for an art gallery. So yeah, now I have this book. This book is from the sticker book, um, an aquarium sticker book I got from, uh, Amazon and I'm going to be using some stickers from here. I did buy two of them. I did a walkthrough for both of these and these still are available on Amazon. So I am feeling this sticker right here, this one right here, this blue and white. I don't know why, but it's calling out to me for some reason, but I'm just going to peruse this very quickly here with you guys very quickly, just to make sure something else does not call out to me just to make sure, because you never know something else might call out to me, but it's like, I kept going back to that. Okay, I'm thinking that's going to be the one because um, I wanted to use, I kind of like this too, though. I kind of like that, but I'm really feeling this one. Let me just go through it really quick here for myself. Uh, wait a minute. Ooh, he's kind of cool looking. Aren't they kind of cool looking? Can you guys see them? The gentleman here, this one and this one, that's kind of cool looking. Um, let me mark this page. Let me do a marker here because I might work with these two gentlemen as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into making this pretty much no must no fuss type of a card. Okay, so that's the back of the card. This is the front, so it goes in that direction. Um, the inside of the card, I do have some pages that I ripped out of a book that um, I'm not using. So let me do the inside really quick. So I'm going to cover that up with this paper. So let's just try to do a little bit of that here. So I have some idea of where I want to go. Okay, one and two. Just marking some some of it off here. Oh, that's more than one sheet. This way. Okay. Yeah, so I was watching Creative Chica Halls and she had used some really pretty um, equestrian style stickers that she had found from a long time ago. And I was like, girl, those are cute. And um, I just did a video about crafting and about using our crafts. I did. And 
allowing ourselves to enjoy our creativity and what we have and not feel guilty about it. So if you want to go check that out, it was my little, you know, the madness is true for a crafter. Okay, so I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear a little bit around. I'm going to just tear it up. It's already torn a little bit over here, but let's go around here and tear it a little bit here. I want to see that page number. There we go. And let's keep that over there and let's do this side. Okay, and let's do the top. Now this is not going to fill out that whole page, not by any means, but it's going to give us the look that we want. Okay, there's one, and then let's tear this one up as well, okay? Here we go. I'm not a very good tearer. There are some people that know how to tear and they make everything look uh, freaking amazing. They do. They really do with one, with one tear technique. I'm like, how do they do that? I need to learn. <laughs> I need to learn how to do all that. Okay. Okay. So this one is like really different. All right. So then what we're going to do next is we're going to use this. And like I said, I don't know where my kiddos, let me get rid of some of this. I don't know where my kiddos put my stuff. I'm going through my craft room, like I said, and I'm donating. I'm getting rid of stuff. So everything is very hosh podgy right now, and I apologize. But we're going to do our best to work with each other today. Yes, we are. Now, did you guys go see my last Timu haul and stuff? Did y'all? Okay. So what I'm going to do is tap, tap, tap around the edges. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm using this other sheet behind it just so I don't mess up my table. These are um, stickers. These big old stickers from the Dollar Tree on my table. So if anything gets really messed up, I can always go back and buy another one and replace a whole little section if I need to. I know life is grand. Well, I did a, I did a haul too for Shein. I did a try on. Okay, so there's one right here. And I kind of want to make it look a little bit more vintagey. So let me go like this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Looks a little dingy. I like that. The dingy look. Love it. Okay, let's do this next one. I'm afraid I'm going to have to tap back into this. Um, what I'm using here, you really shouldn't be using to do this. You should be using, uh, you know, a stamper. This is the uh, metallic wax um, age brass. You put this on top of things and you give it a really cool age look. But, you know, you have to do what you got to do with the things that you find and the things that you got. So we're just doing it, baby. We are doing the best that we can with what we got. And I'm really excited about doing this sticker challenge. I really am. Normally, I don't participate in sticker challenges and stuff like that because everybody's so creative and I am not I'm just not that creative I'm really not and then I always think oh how am I going to compare to everybody else that's participating these people know what they're doing and they make such cool stuff I did take the time to look at the other participants for the past several months um, some of their, some of the items that they made, um, for their sticker challenge. And I was like blown away by a lot of the stuff that was shared. Okay. So now we got this looking aged. So we got our two aged looking papers that are nice and torn, looking lovely. And push this over here. We can use that for something else. Let me close this up. Then let's put this in our card. Now, this card, where's my card? <laughs> what did I do with my card? Where is my crazy looking? Oh, there it is. Here's my crazy looking card. Okay. Okay. The card is so weird. That's why I picked it, just because it's just different. Very different. Now, this is really white. So I'm going to do this. I didn't realize how bright this was. Until I popped her open. Let me get. I really need a 
age this up in the inside a little bit and make it a little, a little bit dingy because that's going to look crazy. Okay, so a lot of people ask me as far as Shein clothing, let's talk about clothes for a minute for plus size because I'm a plus size gal, wear a size 28. I'm a total apple. Oh my gosh, I'm a total apple. And um, a lot of people ask questions about clothing. I've never tried Timu. Never. Okay, I like the way that looks. What do you, what do you guys think? Yeah, I like it to be a little bit on the, on the, on the, uh, looking like it's been through something. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh, I got a lot. I got to be careful now. So, um, like I was saying, uh, yeah, you really got to look at the sizes and look at the measurements for every single item because they all vary. You will be looking at something that says size 4X, which technically is size 22, but I'm a size 28. But if you read the measurements, some of them will fit a size 28 and some of them, this is size, you know, 4X will actually only fit like a size 12 if you look at some of the measurements so it's really important to look at the measurements so i just thought i might put that out there while i'm rambling okay there we go what do you guys think a little bit better i think it looks a little bit better okay now we could put the little papers on top all right let me put this over here i'm sorry if i'm reaching over i'm gonna use my glue stick here and um, let me see which sheet on which side I want to use. You're right there like that. What do you guys think? Looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. So I'm just going to do this. So I'm just outlining the glue stick around the whole thing. So the sides will stick and there we go put this down here in the middle there we go mm -hmm. it's looking good what do you guys think pretty i think it looks pretty i know i have this valentine's day tree here just causing like a lot of friction for me let me move it over it's brighter now right it's my valentine's day tree okay there we go it's a little bit brighter now i'm sorry okay let's do this other side real quick so yeah now do any of you guys do junk journaling because i'm going to be working on a junk journal as well i am not a professional by any means i am a novice just like y'all get my feet wet trying to do something different Okay, here we go. I'll put this straight so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And I'm tapping it down. I'm tapping it down, baby. Okay, so that's what the inside looks like. What do you think? What do you think? We're going to put some stickers in here too. Okay, we are. And I think I'm going to use these gentlemen because the challenge is about using stickers. I know you were like, girl, where, where are you putting these stickers? Because this is a sticker challenge. Where is your sticker? Okay, so I'm going to put one of these gentlemen in here. Okay, I am. And I'm thinking it's either going to be this guy or it's going to be this guy. Hmm. Hmm. I think this guy is going to give it some pizzazz with the red. And I might be able to put him here. It's like I want to put him here, but then I want to put him here. Because this guy is looking in this direction. So maybe if I put him there, because he's looking in that direction. Yeah, I think I might use this guy. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I'm using this gentleman right here. And he has an umbrella. And I'm going to use them right here. Now what I'm going to have to do 
because he is outlined in this blue. I don't know if I'm going to leave it in the blue because it's kind of, I like that light blue. But then I don't. It's kind of like sticking out like a sore thumb a little bit. I don't know if I have enough here to do any real change. I don't think I do. But I like the blue. But I just think it's just a little bit on the bright side for me. But I like the blue. Okay. So that's our first gentleman sticker right there that we're putting inside the card. And I think he looks really snazzy. Very snazzy. Love it. Then I'm kind of feeling this right here, that sticker, to put it on this corner page, on this page over here. So let's, let's get this guy out from the book and put him right here in the corner. Okay, so now we got him there in the corner. We got the gentleman right there. I'm really liking that. I feel like I want something else, but I'm going to wait. Okay, so let's work on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with this. Except we're going to do a tear right there. So I'm going to start tearing. Okay, I'm going to start tearing. And I don't want to see the page. So we're tearing and we're tearing and we're tearing up some pages. Okay. Okay. So I want to do this. All right. But I need to do the, the color. So let me do the color really quick. And then I'm going to put that really cool sticker that I found there. Let's do that. Here we go. Oh man. Here we go. Ooh, I took a lot. Okay, I don't want that much. Here, let me. This is my tester. Okay. Here we go. So I am just, again, tightening this up, making it look a little bit more aged. Because it's like an abstract type of a card. Here we go. And then I'm giving it some more color here in the center. Here we go. There. I'm not too worried about those really big, big, big marks. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm going to be putting that sticker over it. So I'm not too concerned about it. Honestly, I'm not. Okay. Then I want to add some of this color over here. Ooh, dang on it. I went to the other side. No. Okay, well, give me a second, guys. I do have another thing here. Okay, so I'm just trying to fix my mistake here, but that's okay because we do want some brown. Okay, there we go. See, I do want some of that color to carry over. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to glue. Glue, glue, glue. And use this page just in case I fall out of the lines. So I want to make sure I get the outside of these lines so it'll stick well. And like I said, this is the paper that I ripped out from my journal, my junk journal that I want to work on. So I'm going to place this right here. Okay, right in the center. Now I do have a brayer, but it's with my um, diamond, diamond kit downstairs. And that is not going to come up for a while. Okay, so there is my front of the card now i want to go to that balloon sticker let's do the balloon sticker that i fell in love with where are you balloon sticker here we go okay so this is the balloon sticker i'm gonna do i like this blue color because it's like a man's theme so we're gonna do the man theme here we go ah look at that sticker isn't it gorgeous okay so I'm going to put it here in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. And like I said, remember when all that color jumped out and I was like, oh, don't worry about that. We're going to cover it up. You see, technically speaking, 
I could have had put some um, some stuff to make it look higher so it would stick out a little bit more. Okay. Then where is... Okay, wait. Okay, wait. I'm trying to get my color right here so I can just edge this up a little bit just because it's too bright for me. I want to edge that up, edge the sticker up if I can. I don't know if that side has a lot of color left. Hmm. But this is also acting as a brayer because I'm pressing down on it. So believe it or not, it is giving it some variation of color. Okay. So that's the front of the card. Now I want to add something else to it. Another sticker of some form because it's a very abstract looking card for a man. Um, so I want to add something to it. I'm trying to think, what do I want to add? Do I want to add this key? There's a really cool key right here. There's a really cool key right here. Maybe if I add the key here, I don't know. It's like I want to do something else to it. Let's see. Something that would be just different, but would still look pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Um, hope you guys don't mind going to my book with me. Oh, and like I said, all these stickers are very different. And that's why I like them so much because they're just different. They're not the run of the mill. I kind of like this little monkey right here. I don't know why. That little monkey right there in the corner. It's just a very oddball thing to have. <laughs> I don't know why I want to do an oddball thing. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave it just like that. I'm not too sure. Or maybe... Well, no. Hmm. Let's see. There's another one that has a man and a woman there. No, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so I'm going to leave this alone. Um, here's one of the stickers I created, uh, this tag. This is a sticker from this book for my junk journal. Just so you can see that I did make a tag. I wanted to add a little bit of that coloring from here on the top a little bit just to make it not be so bright, but I got to add more color to it now. Yeah, I still got to add more color to it, but that's a tag, as you can see, that I created, and it does have fabric, but that's a sticker right there, and those are two ATC cards that I colored in the back. They were black. Um, I want to add something else to this, you guys. Wait a minute. I think I might use these stickers right here, these stickers from Dollar Tree. I also have this. Did I show you this? I also have this. I'm um, Tim Holtz. Um... They have these really cool stickers that say things, wishes, secrets, hopes, journal every day. Huh. I wonder if I should put a little saying somewhere here at the bottom. I don't know. Let me see. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted very easily here with the possibilities. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe doing this here and there. Having that, what do you think? Just one on either corner. Let's see. Just one on either corner. Like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Okay. Just put one on either corner. Okay. Okay. So we got one on either corner. All right, and even though it's kind of on the bright side, oof, I don't want it that bright. Here we go. Okay, I just, I'm adding color to it so it's not so bright, so it doesn't um, stick out like a sore thumb. So you can see it's there, but it's blending. Now what I want to do 
is maybe add a word from here from this Tim Holtz. I think that's what I want to do. Let's see. And then we're almost done, you guys. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Remembers that song. I'm walking on air. Cool. Okay, so what do we want to say? And then we put the little thing on top and it makes it look vintagey. Maybe I should put, put it there on this corner here. So let's say um, we got things, family, friends, story, thoughts, dreams, ideas, elements, journey. Let's do journey. Let's use the journey sticker. Okay, I'm using the journey sticker right here. Can you guys see it? This is from Tim Holtz from back in the day. There's my journey sticker. And now I'm just doing everything so weird because I have you at a very strange angle. All right, let's hope to God I put that. Ooh, it's a little crooked because I didn't have, I was trying to let you guys look versus me ang angling it correctly. Mm. Okay, that's his journey, but you see how bright it is with this? You put this on top. Hopefully, it'll cover the whole thing. Let me see. Ooh, still moving. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm going to press down on it. It got covered. Here we go. So, here we go. Now it says journey. I don't know if I should put a word inside as well. For my stickers, so this is my card, man's card that I've made. So Dollar Tree sticker, Dollar Tree. This is from my book. I wrote Journey here. Put the little thing on top so it looks aged. I aged a piece of paper from a book. Added more color to it. Then we go into the inside. Here's my sticker for my sticker book here. Aged the sheet. And then we have a gentleman there that is hanging out. And then you could still write what you need to write and it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> i'm so glad i did this with you guys this was a lot of fun and i got to use some stickers that i have not used or even looked at in a while and this is like coming off here i need to fix this oh no honey i'm gonna need you for later honey i love tim holtz everything from tim holtz i absolutely love you got tim holtz stuff you don't want send it to me because i love tim holtz send it to me Tim Holtz. Love everything he has. Okay. I need to put this away so it's safe. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out the collab. And it is called, let me get my paper out again. It is called um, Hashtag Sticker Saturday. And it's hosted by Crafty Rose. And thank you so much, Creative Chica Halls, for sharing your creation today, which inspired me to do mine. Have a great day. Bye.